Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is solving inequalities. In the previous three videos, you studied numbers, number line, inequalities and intervals and certain rules which the inequalities follow. Now all that knowledge we are going to use here for solving the inequalities. But before we begin, let us understand what does it mean by solving an inequality. What if you are given an inequality with an unknown variable say x? Then by solving this inequality, it means finding all the values of x which satisfy it. And all these values of x are called the solution of this inequality. This will be clear when we come to some examples. For explanation, I have divided them in two types. In type 1, we will handle inequalities where only the variable x and numbers are given. So, let us begin and this is the type we will be doing here. In the first example, you are given the inequality 2x minus 1 is less than x plus 3 and you are asked to solve it. Now, we have to find all the x values which satisfy it. So, that means if we can bring x's on the left hand side and all the constants on the other side, we can find the solution. How do we achieve that? You see here our x is on the right hand side. So, if I subtract x on both the sides, this x will vanish. So, let us do that. 2x minus x minus 1 is less than x minus x plus 3. Now, x from the right hand side will go, but the number minus 1 is there on left. The whole idea is to have only x's on one side and numbers on the other side, could be either side. So, if we add 1 on left hand side and 1 on the right hand side, what will happen? Our minus 1 and 1 will cancel, x and minus x will cancel. You see, x vanishes on the right hand side and the constant on the left vanishes, you are left with x is less than 4. This is our solution. Quite simple, isn't it? Now, there is another way of writing this. We can, we can write it as x belongs to the interval minus infinity 4. As we did not have an equality here in the solution. Our 4 is not included in the interval. So, we have an open bracket. This would be clear when we take the number line. Let us draw the line. If we take 0 to be here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, going up to infinity, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, going up to minus infinity, then your solution was x is less than 4. 4 is here on the number line. We will take an empty circle at 4. As we had no equality, so we are taking an empty circle. Now, all values less than 4, where will they lie? They will lie in this direction. So, all these x's are the solution from 4 up to minus infinity. So, we took x belonging to minus infinity 4. If you want to check the solution which you took was correct or not, we can take a few values from the interval, substitute and see whether they satisfy the inequality or not. So, let us check. You had the inequality 2x minus 1 is less than x plus 3 and the solution was x belongs to minus infinity 4. Now, Let's take 
what if our x is 0? 0 does belong to your interval minus infinity 4. Substitute it in the inequality, we'll have 2 into 0 minus 1 is less than 0 plus 3 and this gives us minus 1 is less than 3. Now, inequality holds minus 1 is less than 3. You see it is smaller than 3. So, the point x is equal to 0 belongs to the interval minus infinity 4. Being the first question, let's take one more point. Let, let us take x is equal to minus 3. Now, minus 3 is also in this interval. So, when we substitute in our inequality, it will give us 2 minus 3 minus 1 is less than minus 3 plus 3. We have substituted x is equal to minus 3. What will happen? See, we get minus 7 here less than 0, which is also correct. So, your minus 3 also belongs to the interval. Hence, the interval which we have taken is absolutely correct. And that's the solution. Come to another example here. We are asked to solve the inequality minus 2x plus 1 is less than x minus 3. Now, you saw in the question number 1, we had subtracted x on both the sides. Same thing you can do. Or in other words, I'm bringing the x on the right towards the left and 1 on the left towards the right. Now, this would give me minus 2x minus x. I am bringing this x on the left and this one on the right less than minus 3 minus 1. When this one comes on the right, it becomes minus 1 and when the x comes towards the left, it is minus 6. Now, this is just a shortcut. We will get minus 3x is less than minus 4. But for the solution, we just need x on one side of the inequality. For that, we have to divide by minus 3. So, we will divide the inequality all over by minus 3. Now, you have already seen in the previous video, if you are given a is less than b or a is greater than b and we divide by minus c, the inequality changes. The, if it is less than, it will become greater than. If it is greater than, it becomes less than. So, inequality changes. So, here, as we are dividing by a negative number, we will get a greater than sign. Minus 3, minus 3 will cancel. Here, the minus and minus will cancel. You will get x is greater than 4 by 3. Now, this is the solution. There's another way of writing the solution. What is that? x is, x belongs to the interval 4 by 3 infinity. Now, let's see this on the number line. Why did I take? the interval 4 by 3 infinity. On the number line, if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, goes up to infinity and this side minus 1, minus 2, goes up to minus infinity, your solution was x is greater than 4 by 3. Now, 4 by 3 is 1.33 something. So, which means it is somewhere here. And as there is no equality in my solution, so we take an 
open circle here. This value is 4 by 3. Now all values greater than 4 by 3, where will they lie? Left direction or right? You know it would be in the right direction. So all these x values are the part of a solution. Do you want to check? Okay, let's take one value and see whether the interval we have got is correct or not. So we have the inequality minus 2x plus 1 is less than x minus 3. And we take some value let x is equal to 2. Now 2 you see belongs to the interval 4 by 3 infinity. So I am taking x is equal to 2. Fit in the inequality. We will get minus 2 into 2 plus 1 is less than 2 minus 3. What do we get on the left hand side? We get minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 3 and you know the right hand side is minus 1. It is correct. Minus 3 is smaller than minus 1. So the point satisfies. We'll move on to the other example. Let's say we are asked to solve the inequality 1 upon x minus 4 is less than or equal to 2. Now, for solving such a question, you see here my function of x is in the denominator. Does not matter. What will we do? We will divide or we'll multiply both the sides of the inequality by x minus 4. So we are multiplying both the sides of the inequality by x minus 4. You can do that assuming x minus 4 is positive because whenever we multiply by a positive number on both the sides, inequality does not change. Now, x minus 4 will cancel. You will be left with 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus 8. Or if I bring the minus 8 on the left, we get 9 is less than or equal to 2x. 2 is positive. Divide both the sides by 2. We will get 9 by 2 is less than or equal to x. So this is the solution. Now, another way of writing this is x belongs to the interval. It says x is greater than or equal to 9 by 2. So as you have a greater than equal to sign, we take the closed interval 9 by 2 comma infinity. Let's see this on the number line. On the number line, if we take this as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and these values go up to infinity. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, they go up to minus infinity. Then, you had here in your solution, x is greater than or equal to 9 by 2. Either you write 9 by 2 is less than or equal to x or x is greater than or equal to 9 by 2. Because you know that the open side of the arrow is pointed towards the number which is greater. So where does 9 by 2 lie? 9 by 2 is nothing but 4.5. So here 4.5 is here. 
and as it is less than equal to sign 9 by 2 is less than equal to x or x is greater than equal to 4.5 we will have a dark dot at this point a dark dot all values greater than this including this are the solution if you want to check you can again take one value and see from this interval whether it satisfies or not so let us see check the inequality was 1 upon x minus 4 is less than equal to 2 what if we take 4.5 itself or 9 by 2 let x be 9 by 2 which is 4.5 what will we get put that in the inequality we have 4.5 minus 4 and this is less than equal to 2 according to inequality let us see here we get 1 upon 0 0.5 is less than equal to 2 1 upon 0 0.5 is nothing but 2. You know 2 is equal to 2. We are taking the equality part of our inequality. So 2 is equal to 2, it is satisfied. So 4.5 also satisfies and you saw it was a part of our interval. Any other value if you want to check, we can do that. Let us say x is equal to 7 let x be 7 then what happens when we substitute in the inequality 1 upon 7 minus 4 is that less than equal to 2 we'll see this is 1 by 3 and this is less than equal to 2 because 1 by 3 is 0.333 and which is smaller than 2 so uh Quick recap, guys. In these types of problems, we what we did, we bring all the x on one side, bring all x on one side, and numbers on the other side and this gives us the solution simplify for x for x that gives us the solution thank you guys for watching next we will do the second type of inequalities where the modulus function comes into picture. So the next topic will be solving inequalities with modulus. Thanks once again, guys.